Today we are going to go over how to create and manage distribution lists on your community website. You will have to either be a website administrator or a user with elevated privileges in order to use this functionality. If you fall under one of these two categories, let us continue. First off, you must sign in with your username and password. For this example, we're going to use admin. Once the internal home page loads, please go to the welcome drop down menu, select site admin. Once this page loads, select communication and then manage distribution lists. Once the page loads, you will have the option of creating one of two different types of lists. A distribution list, which is a list created for the users of the website exclusively and can also be opted out of by the users, or an email list, which requires manual intervention for changes, additions, and subtractions from the list. Let's first do a new email list. So you click on the button, add new email list. Let's put in a title. Then a description of the list so that we can differentiate. And then a category. For this one, we're going to select general content. Now as you see this section is for you to put in all the email addresses for the people you want to reach out to. These can be members of your community but most likely you're going to be utilizing an email list for people outside of your community. Notice that you have to separate every single email address by a semicolon. Now, to save this list, click on Save. Once the notification that the distribution list was successfully saved has appeared, click on Return. Once this page loads, you'll notice that your distribution list is now available. Now let's create a distribution list for internal users only. To do this, click on Add New Distribution List. Choose a name. A description a category and click Save you'll notice that we didn't add any users at this point once you have the notification that the distribution list was successfully saved, click on Return. Notice that this list is now available as well and it shows subscri subscribers as zero. To add a group of people to this subscribers list, you can go to Manage DL Member Subscriptions. In the first drop down box, select your list. You'll notice that there's no subscribers found currently, but you can also add members in bulk. So for this one, we're going to go with full member. Click on bulk add member type to select a DL and click apply options. You'll now notice that all of the members have been added. You'll also notice that there are check marks by each name. If there are individuals, 
who do not want to be on this distribution list, you can either manually remove them by clicking on the check mark and removing it and clicking save, or any member can go into their profile by going to my resident area from the drop down menu, clicking on profile, click on edit, then go to personal web info. You'll notice that all of the subscriptions are available in this box on the right hand side. Notice that the distribution list that we just created is checked. If this user would like to opt out, all they have to do is uncheck that box and then hit save changes. Now, let us go back to the distribution list. If any of the users in the email list wish to be removed or you need to add individuals or perhaps you have the wrong email address, you must manually change every single entry. If a user wishes to opt out of this list, they must contact the web administrator in order to do so. They can't do it from their user profile. We have now completed the tutorial on how to create and manage distribution lists.